Internet, welcome back. It's so good to see you. Come come in, come in. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we're doing an M19 draft here on Magic the Gathering Online, which is worth noting not MTG Arena, just so you guys know. Seems like you get a complete set off mode of them. What, is the, what do you mean? Also, we opened a pretty sick rare in the form of... Oh, I thought that was a Nickel Bullets. No, it's an Amulet of Safekeeping. My mistake. Uh, it looks like I've been bamboozled. Uh, this pack is really good for the white-red deck. This card's good, this card's good, this card's good, and this card's good. I think we want heroic reinforcements. Um, did you say two open Nicky Bees? Yes, because while well, you actually fixed the command to say at least one. So it's correct. At least you said at least once. So I think we're just taking this guy. Throwing shade in her Oh, uh, <laughs> what? Why did you delete the command? You said at least once. It was correct. I want to take the heroic reinforcements. Uh, take Vengeance or Dark Dweller Oracle. Probably Dark Dweller Oracle, right? Also, Sleep is pretty epic. Lightning Strike, of course, keeps you more open, but I could care. I don't care about that. Two at last update. Wow, that's amazing. That's incredible. Did we open Teferi? I love that. I don't think we did ever open a Teferi. That's pretty hilarious to me. Siege Breaker Gigante. Probably the probably the card we're going after here. Yeah, that guy's fine. So if you guys were interested in anything from uh, the new Hearthstone set that comes out tomorrow, I got you an article here. You can check it out. Goblin Instigator, probably better than Rustwing Valken. I don't know how many Valkens we can get. What if we just go all in on the Valken plan? Is that a thing we want to do? I don't know. Maybe. I think we're going to take Instigator. I think it's harder to get Instigators. And we can also definitely still go red if we have to. But also Goblin with uh, Heroic Reinforcements is already pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. Blah, blah, blah. Thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. W welcome back. I'm going to take this Pyromancer because that dude does some uh, serious work. These are basically the same card. Only one of them makes uh, your combat a little better. Hmm. Another instigator. All right. We're going wide here, boys. We also have the Dark Dweller Oracle, which is great with all these tokens. Bob blah, 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 big fan of your law blog, just so you know. Bernard, 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 Bernard. Uh, I'm just gonna go with fiery finish. It's an expensive card, but it is a, it. I, I would say this is on par with like Lich's caress. It usually kills pretty much everything in the format. It costs one more. You don't gain the life. Still pretty good.
people are very strange. Uh, this card actually gives our our tokens a little more reach. I actually made a post the other day on Facebook, and uh, I really I said I really managed to play through most games once, and I just started my second playthrough of Detroit Become Human. The game is unbelievable. I'm a huge fan of the game. I think it's great. Uh, and someone just commented on it and said, I would rather play Deus Ex. And I'm like, well, all right, you can do that. Like, no one's stopping you. Like, this is a weird thing to do. People are very strange to me. I often feel like I'm an alien from another planet. I feel like I'm a real Superman-type character without the strength or the, you know, abilities. That was just like... My, my spaceship came to Earth, and uh, I was just raised here among you. And uh, I don't understand your people. You're all very strange to me. You do strange things. Wow. <laughs> Checking out the deck list, huh? That's, uh, that's a bold strategy, Cotton. Open the Graves. Oh, there's an angel. That's what we want. That's who we're looking for. Easy pick. Easy game, easy life. I can see bringing in this trusty pack beast if we actually get artifacts we can bring back. Oh, Liliana. Wow. It's like four tickets. I'll take a Liliana. It's also a card I need for constructed. Hmm. Okay. Seems good. Uh, it's probably stag here, right? Top two cards you're lumbering in your graveyard for at least one of them is a zombie. Each opponent loses two gains. Okay, not exciting. Yeah, she's almost unplayable and limited, unfortunately. I hope that Lava Axe comes back, but... Uh, when enters Battlefield, look at the top four, power two or less. Put it in your hand. Okay, so... Our options... I think it actually... Um, actually, Dismiss of Pyrancer is just always good, whereas Bugler is good sometimes. Probably just taking Pyromancer here. It's removal and it's filtering. Oh, I like another Siege Breaker Giant. But do I like it more than a Stag? Probably not. Our deck's looking very good so far. I would like some three drops. Yeah, Motivator and Stag, pretty OP. One, two, three, four. Liliana is the fifth most expensive card in the set, so. And she's only like 350. Oh, wow. Pegasus Unicorn. Pegasus Corsair, not Unicorn. Pegasus Unicorn is like two different species. That's like, uh, oh, here's a uh, dog cat. Oh, the old Pegacorn, also known as the Unisys. Uh, Quacker, I mean, people care about foil MTG cards. Why would they care about foil paper cards? Answer me that question and then we can... Serious, serious question. In your opinion, why do they care about foil paper cards? Uh, oh, Trauma Blast is actually a nice hit here. The Unisys is attached by a scrungle to a kind of crumpus. <laughs> oh, that's so that's a good meme right there, dude. Oh, man.
I don't know. I think the online foil. Well, why is the online foiling kind of whack? I would think paper foiling is kind of whack because at least when I get a foil card online, it fulfills the same role, right? It foils that it, it it makes my deck the deck that I'm presenting to my opponent. It makes it uh, more premier. It makes it more personal, and it doesn't actually warp the cards like in real life, right? So, alternatively, so another more a more realistic answer is that. Uh, you can redeem foil sets on Magic Online, so I can collect a full foil set of Dominaria or M19 or whatever, and then redeem that set in real life. So that is another reason that foils are that they command a premium. We were 100% plumbusing there. I'm just gonna take the rabid bite. I don't care about this pack at all. There's not not, not a single red or white card in this pack. I think it might actually be Pyromancer here. I don't think we want a second six drop. I do like the incremental damage there. Oh, Sure Strike is actually also fine. I mean, I'll play it. Oh, Lava Axe is exactly what we wanted for this deck, surprisingly. Yeah, Redemption is the big factor. So when you, like, look at, um, like, Nicobolus, let's, for example... He's 15 tickets on Magic Online, but the, the foil Nicobolus is worth 32 tickets. And it's not because there's a higher premium on it. It's because people want to redeem foil sets on Magic Online. And then when they do redeem those foil sets, there are that many fewer Nicobol foil Nicobolus online. So that it usually retains its value. Like if you look at Sarkon, it's like 6 tickets, but the foil is 22 tickets. Stuff like that. Buddy Lee, what's going on? Uh, I think we definitely do want the first Fire Finish. I don't think Fire Finish is a bad card at all. I think it kills pretty much everything you want to kill with it. We also don't have that much removal outside of Star Crown Stag, which is not removal. It just clears the way for us. So, Goblin Trash Master seems like a great pickup here. I also like Bugler, and I also like Electrify a lot. Uh, but I think I, we have double instigator and a dark dweller oracle which I assume is a goblin because dark dwellers are often goblins I think it's actually trash master here we also have a motivator what do you mean redeem if you collect a full set of a of a of, a, of one of the more recent sets you can actually uh, wizards will take it out of your account and they'll send you a physical copy of that set yeah I'm surprised you guys don't know what redemption is on magic online this is this is interesting to me. Um, take Vengeance or Gallant Cavalry? I don't think we need another 4-drop here. I think we do want a removal spell. It's 25 bucks, yes, but the um, often the price difference between the two sets uh, is significantly more than that. I mean, we have 15 creatures plus uh, Heroic Reinforcements. We have 16 creatures. I, I like I think trash map I think take vengeance is probably more than uh I, I don't think we need another creature here so eh, I'll just take this guy I guess uh, a full set is one of each a play set is four of each so one of each yes you could do it four times you can you could you can redeem four sets if you'd like you can do it as many sets as you want I get meatballs and spaghetti when I get home. Somebody touch my spaghetti. I like Mighty Leap better than Sure Strike. For obvious reasons. I could care less about Thud, especially in a deck like this where it's going to be like probably an average of like two damage. I also don't care about Axe, but I think Axe is definitely playable. Um, why no Sure Strike, love? I mean, this is Evasion. I think plus two plus two is just generally stronger than uh, plus three plus oh in first strike. I like that we got both the red rare two drops in this in this format. I like smelt as a one up for the board. Well, you know why? Because he who smelt it dealt it. Got him. God, get wrecked, dude. Josh, what's it like getting wrecked? Does it? 
I like Invoke for the board better than Smelt. Like a significant deal better. I like another invoke. Dang, I got gut. <laughs> Josh, have you uh, sent me a deck? If not, no big deal. Again, like it's, I'm not going to worry about it because uh, I will just keep in mind that you're you got one in the queue and then one more in the queue. But just just let me know because I, I want to make sure that I don't miss it. Axe is good in the deck. I just don't know if I care about it. I probably do, but. I'll take other invoke. I don't think we want two axes, and I could care less about or Oros Swifty McSwifterson. Probably cut Diamond Mare for Axe, actually. Actual Axel actually. Axley? No, that's not good. Nothing's good there. Okay, if you send a Grixis list with Cruel Ultimatum, I am on board, dude. Grixis Cruel Ultimatum is definitely one of my favorite cards. Also, we can just we can put Torrential Gear Hulk in there and just cast it with Torrential Gear Hulk. No, you can't do that. This draft looks like a 3-0. Ooh, a goblin? That's perfect, actually. We can take this pack beast out. Oh, that's that was perfect because it goes well with Trash Master. That's beautiful. And we have double trumpet blast, which we're probably playing because we have instigator, instigator, uh, heroic reinforcements, double pyromancer. This guy's actually good. I don't know if we're playing it. I feel like we're in good shape now. I feel like the deck is where it wants to be right now. Might want to cut Dwarven Priest and I and play the Gargoyle, but I don't like the fact that the Gargoyle has can't attack unless you pay three. I don't know. Someone join this draft? What does that even mean, David? What are you saying right now, buddy? You join it. <laughs> join your own queue, dummy. Got him. God, what what a way to get wrecked. The question, my my only my only question here is whether is which one of these two are better. Yo, David, I heard you like drafting. So we put a draft. This is sixteen creatures. We're gonna go down to fifteen. We also have uh, reinforcements, which is seventeen dudes, which is just perfect. I like this better on curve. Yeah, I like that better. I'm just never going 10-7 in this format. Like, I just want to make sure I hit my white cards. I got a Pets of Majestic C Flap Flaps today. It was great. Now watching. What are the what are C Flap Flaps? What is that? Like a dolphin? Stingrays are good. Stingrays are good people. I agree with you.
I don't think this hand is keepable even if one of these was red. Yeah, this is much better. Put you on the bottom. Mare over the gargoyle? What mare? I don't know what mare is. Oh, which one? Interesting. Interesting. Oh, diamond mare? Huh. I'm going to play this guy. I like to keep this guy around. I think it's just better than the long game. When you can actually kill something with it or get your loot on. I don't think you're going to block here. And if you do, I think this is actually a great trade for us. Yeah, didn't think so. Well, that was an interesting attack. <laughs> oh, now I can actually kill that dude if I want to. And I do. Seems good. I'm actually tempted to just kill that thing with this guy. Keep attacking for a million. We also just play stag and tap it down. Oh boy. Um They have two cards in hand. The problem is we can't do anything here if we don't actually kill this guy. Yeah, this is fine. I see what's going on here. So they got a nine and we get six power on board. I guess don't play Nickel Bolas here. You know what? Or any other dragon. I guess Arcade Sabbath is okay. Here we go. Yeah, it's going to be Spark Tongue with Kicker, isn't it? Yep. No. Oh, that's much better. Oh, that's so much better.
Well, this is just fine. So three, four, five, six. Huh. We can also sacrifice this guy to kill the dragon horde. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They have nine mana, but they don't have a second red. A third red, rather. Which would be relevant for... Hanshin Klein, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Sub hype. Um, so I don't know if I if I sack this to kill this. Um, if they get rid of this guy, we still have four in the air. Uh, the problem is if there's no reason to wait though. Like if they have if they drew like they obviously have dragons in their deck, so if they drew like storm chaser dragon or whatever, I'd rather just no. They have three red. They have red, red, red. So I'd like to take out one of the red because then they can't kick any dragon. One of the storm chaser dragon. I don't know what I don't know what that card's called. Hmm. I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna f famous last words. Like if they play the dragon, they kill this guy. They kill this guy, right? And they have three blockers, two flyers, and then we have two flyers. All right. Well, they played a forest. Here we go. Oh my god. Okay. Immediately feel better now that I see them tap the dragon sword. What is this? Oh, are you just going to Bane fire me? Horizon Scholar? That moment when you call it. <sighs> Spark Tongue Dragon is the one we were thinking of, obviously. Wait, what happened? Did they just go face? What? Are they dead? I don't understand what just happened. Sorry, I, I just think I'm too stupid to understand this. I don't understand what just happened. We racked our brain whether to kill the the dragon's horde because they could have spark tongue dragon. Literally one of the few cards I was afraid of in that situation where they have three red. I talk myself out of it because I'm like, well, that's... A, I mean, like, what are the odds this is the one card they have? They end up having it. 
They could kill our stag or our Pegasus Courser. Presumably stag. Because then they can block anything with Spark Tongue. But then they shoot our face. Huh. Well then. I'm going to take you out and bring in the... Maybe it's Diamond Mare, actually? Diamond Mare does block their 2-2s, two which is just fine. What? What were their invoke targets? We saw... Oh, yeah, I guess they do have good invoke targets. They do have... Well, one is a Manolith, one's a Dragon Sword. We did see a Knightly Valor as well. Which I don't care as much about, but... Still not bad. I think this hand's okay. Oh, I bet they did think it has haste. That's pretty funny to me. So they were probably going to attack us for seven, and they're probably like, I got lethal. And then they're like, wait. Just because I paid eight mana for this dragon doesn't mean it has haste. Well, biscuits. Uh, considering we have five white cards, I'm just going to name white here. Because <sighs> ideally our curve should be pretty nice. Huh. Well, I'll be. Here we go again, guys. Welcome to Welcome to the internet. I'm your host magicthegathering.com. You got the uncommon lightning strike. No. Sacrificing this guy? What's happening right now? I have no idea what's going on. Okay. Sounds good. Oh, they just lost their volcanic dragon. Fantastic. I imagine once we start hitting lands, though, boy, we're going to just rattle these cards off. <laughs> Here's one now. Seems good. No blockums. Sure, magic. We're having a good time. Everybody's having fun. Long time fan for the use of like a stream is here. I've just time for the mana screws. Never change. Fantastic. Hey mana screw, big fan. Big fan. Oh, five five. All right. Do I just block this guy with everything? They can deal five. They go one, two, three, four, five, or one, two, three, four, five. It doesn't seem correct. Yeah, I'm the Phil Helmuth of, of Magic Online. If it wasn't for Mana Screw, I'd win them all. <laughs> God, please, guys, know that was a joke. Please know it was a joke. Well, I'm not going to give you a land, but at least you can cast this, right? <laughs> My kingdom for Illuminous Bonds, which, oh, for Christ's sakes, man, come on. Oh, there's one. I got one for you. I got one for you. 
Yeah, we're gonna bring an invoke now. <laughs> That's just ridiculous, man. Where's the justice? Sure. Not the hand we want, but it'll do. Not drawing lands is this set. No, drawing lands is this set's opening Karn. It just never happens. This guy's actually pretty nice with the... Uh... Oh, really? This is how you're going to be? Well, I'll show up a little bit later. Zichi, have a good night, buddy. I feel like we can win the long game. Thank you. Einerfar, thank you so much for the Risa, or the regular sub. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Yep, you got it. <coughs> oh, a fountain of renewal. Fascinating. I'm pretty sure we're going to loot away this fiery finish here. Actually, maybe not. I don't want to hit a land here. I think we're just fine until next turn. Four drop one time. Well. Well, we're not going to even that. I'm going to give that guy haste, that's for sure. Re release the groans off the top would be gas. Absolute gas. Man, we're just like waiting here. I feel like this is taking 
forever. Huh. Ha <laughs> ha, look. Mistakes were made. Yeah, we're just going to pass here. Zaxor, what's going on, buddy? Always a pleasure. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Next turn they have 8. If you count things like the Blood Divination in combat with double cast, you just have to sack sec. Yeah, you don't have to sack it twice because it's part of the cost. Cost is already paid when, you, when you're copying the spell. Actually, tempted to kill this guy. We do have to take vengeance. All right, I think they've X F sixth, so. Yeah, that was a good turn. Next time we get Trumpet Blast as well. I think if you're walking around town at 2 p.m. with an open beer, I think you still look like an alcoholic. You just get to justify it to yourself. Oh my god. Jesus. Mono Talons dot deck over here. All right, well. Land instigator, huh? Okay. I guess we're just going to instigate here. Our trumpet blast is looking saucy. That life gain is real, though. They have three blockers, so they block biggest guys. One, two, three. Take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Reasonable. Oh, the life is gone. There's no more life to be had anymore. You got a pregame before the event during the ten. Can't you just not drink? Is that an option? Because that sounds that makes you sound more like an alcoholic. If you're like, I have to drink at some point during a sporting event I have to do it and uh, I will take any means necessary to make sure alcohol gets into my body at some point as a non-drinker I don't really understand it so I guess maybe that, that I mean, it could fall upon me Knightly Valor gross yeah that's gross <sighs> alright Fiery Finish still takes care of that Yep, I'm going to take seven here. If being drunk is the only way to tolerate sports, maybe you shouldn't be interested in sports. It sounds like you might not be. Like, it's if I was watching Pro Tour coverage and I was just like, man, the only way to watch this is to be drunk. If you really don't enjoy it that much, shouldn't you just do something else? I don't know. I guess maybe I just don't understand it.
And someone's like, it's pro tour coverage. The only way to watch it is drunk. I'd be like, it doesn't sound like you actually enjoy it that much. Maybe you should be finding a different hobby. That's what the fat cats in Washington want you to think. Uh, that is my response to that. All right, well, we're going to block here. Probably going to take four and go to five. All right, main phase, get talons back. That's pretty good. Hmm. So they got three blocks. They're going to take five here. They're probably going to block here, here, and here. They block three dudes. One, two, three. They take three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we probably die. I think we have we have time. I mean, assuming they don't play guys, shoot us in the face. Volcanic Dragon plus Thing kills us, actually, so I'm going to hold back here. If they go Volcanic Dragon Talons, it kills us. Which they could, they could have Volcanic Dragon in hand. Dragon plus Talons is they don't have five they don't have they could they can't just play land dragon talons. I mean that's eight mana. It seems like they'd have enough mana if they played a land. One, two, three, four, five. They also have Druid. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six mana for Volcanic Dragon and then two mana for Talons. They totally have enough. Tramp and Vengeance on the Goblin. How do you give trample to the goblin? We know they have a copy in their hand. They literally brought it back. They literally returned it to their hand. Tramp and vengeance on the goblin? What do you... I, I don't actually know what you guys are saying right now. So they're tapped out. Uh, because it doesn't do anything. Because we, we put them to one, and then we would take a bunch of damage. Whereas now we can probably just kill them. And again, because because the play that you're suggesting would have left us dead to certain card combinations, whereas the one I'm... They have green, but that doesn't do anything. Like, there's no, there's no one green pump spell. We just take two. We just take four here, go to one. If you'd attack with all opponent was forced to block and opponent was without board, but you had the no, no, that's all of our guys would be tapped. We'd still be dead to volcanic dragon plus one talons. Like we'd still be dead to that. Like, I, 
there's no reason like your way we take a risk this way we don't like it's just not I'm going to keep this hand. If we hit lands, we're in great shape. F famous last words, man. If we hit lands, we're doing very well. Josh, have a good night, buddy. I look forward to seeing what you come up with. I'm at a point where with this hand, I'll literally just take lands for the rest of the game. Uh, maybe... Maybe one spell at some point, but. Oh, I see. You've also gone to the Vyoshino Pyromancer School of Fire. Get in there. This is good because you get to play Brute here, and now Brute is uncontested. Well, that makes it land. Oh, that was a good one. Look at this. Look at these lands, bro. Look at these lands, my bro. Never punished. What were we punished for? Are we actually keeping a two lander on the draw? Or was it the play? On the play? It's, I mean, like, in, in this deck, that seems totally fine. We have, like, ten two drops. Well, that's obnoxious, but... Trash goblins every day. I'm gonna trash all over your face. Can we get a land so we can play this Angel of Dawn? I feel like that's a good one. That's a good one to play. I just want a land, but that's pretty good. I don't think we're actually attacking here with anybody. Are they going to attack with both? Oh, they're going to attack with none. Land. I willed it. Did you guys see me will it into play? Making all my guys real big. Gonna tap down your crappy guy. Singing a song about Crappy creatures. I saw it. Right. That's all that matters. That's all that. That's all that I wanted. Oh boy. Don't have sure strike. You can have the other one. Don't have. Don't have sure. Why are you the way that you are? Why are you that way? I just wanted to do a thing. Five hundred musical frank bits. That's all I've ever wanted. I just want to be recognized. Oh, that's a good draw. Well, Billy Biscuits. Is this lethal? I think this is lethal if they don't double block. This is 100% lethal, right? 500 biddies. Are they just not taking it? Alright, I'll give this dude float. <laughs> That's a bold strategy. Why don't you just block one? What do you, what do you, why would you just throw your life away like that? 
All right, we're going to take out Sentinel. We're going to bring in the Priest. And we're probably going to take something else out and bring in Diamond Mare so we can just be the aggressive deck we want to be. Be the aggressive deck you want to see in the world. <sighs> take out the Fire Finish. You're a little expensive. And I'm probably just going to bring in one Invoke because we did see Illuminous Bonds. And good. I'll keep it. I think our odds of drawing two drops are pretty high here, so. Even a three drop, two or three drop. We have a lot. We have like probably 12 in the deck total. Give me a goblin instigator. Okay, a planes works too. Instigator. Oh, Pyromancer. All right, I'll take it. Seems good. Oh, I was hoping you'd put on that guy because I want to trade with this guy. That's great news. Thank you. So now I can play this guy, and all of your guys are bad against this guy. So that's cool. Yeah, don't care about that guy, as you may know. If you want to double block, you're more than welcome to do it. Knock, knock yourself out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We have 13 damage in board with the Trauma Blast, and with a Mighty Leap, we have even more. However, I'm not sure we're going to be getting through here. Get him. Oh, no blocks, I see. All right, well then. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Any pump spell and we're dead, but. What are the odds they have a pump spell in the red white deck? Slim to nil. Do they have it? Wow, who saw that coming? Yeah, there's no way we're racing that as a problem. So. Boy, you are awfully quiet today. Would you catch it? What is it? Oh, that would have been a good draw. That would have been nice. Um, Am I quiet today? I don't feel like I'm that quiet. I'll keep this hand... Any red mana, and we're great. Plus, we do have white plays. Red mana! Well, I clicked it. I, I was super enthusiastic because I figured it would be a red land. Uh, that would prevent the classic mana screw that causes us to consistently 2-1 our drafts. Uh, unfortunately, it was actually not a uh, red mana. As you may have noticed, it was actually a red card. Uh, which, unlike red mana, does not allow us to play red cards, but is, in and of itself, a red card. Sure. 
sure. Yep, and welcome back to uh, this. I guess so. Round two was the Mana Screw game, where we just don't get to play our spells. That's that's good. At least it, at least we get to. I like being able to pinpoint it in each draft and be like, this is the one. This is the round. Yep. All right. So I'll kill you, and uh, we'll just presume that round three will be a blowout because our deck is good, uh, and we just don't get to. Yep, seems good. Double Cavalry Drill Master. Attack for casual eight. Wow. Thank goodness for that. <sighs> Gain one life. Still die to Trumpet Blast. Yep. Cool. Every single fucking draft. It's unbelievable. Consistently one game every single time. One match every single time where we literally get mana screwed two games in a row. It's unbelievable. Uh, it's hard to take my mind off it, or it's hard to take a break from it because there's not really much else I'd rather be doing. And I also stream for a living, so it's a little bit rough to, to take a break. Like, literally played one game out of the two. So that was out of the three, rather. So that was cool. Well, that's a good card. Yeah, I doubt the diff I doubt the accounts make a difference. That seems. I I, I imagine you're small. That has to be a, a an insanely small sample size. Speller, so I can't actually tap this guy down with uh, Starcrown Stag, which is super unfortunate. I'll block, and if you want to kill it with a pump spell, that's cool. Sure. Do not foresee us blocking here. Mana screw knows that he'll have to break us in the island in this break us in this island or lose the war if we can stand up to an alms of Jubilee free and the life of the world may move forward in a broad sunlit. Oh, what is that from? Is that what is that from? Neon Tokyo Run, thanks so much, buddy. Really appreciate it, as usual. Here comes the Titanic growth for the blowouts. I have not had time to try out Slay the Spire. Actually, it's funny because I don't play much game. I don't play many games uh, outside of actually um, 
Hey, love acts because I've been gone longer than I thought. Tilted Ham, thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Um, I actually don't have time to... I don't have... I think it's more desire to play many games outside of streaming because, like, I'll stream for, you know, four or five hours a day, six hours a day, whatever. And uh, the last thing I want to do is, like, play more games. Three, four, five, six, seven... So we can deal seven here, seven next turn. That's 14. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, if they pump this guy, but I doubt they're doing that. Interestingly enough, if they alpha and don't have any blockers, are we 2-0? No way, man. Magic has a uh, mana system, a resource system, where literally once a draft, I do not get to play a game. So uh, that's just the that's just the um, yeah. I'm still sponsored by Goatbots, hence the Goatbots icon on the actual screen. Um. Yeah, so every 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 draft we do, uh, we only get to play two out of the three games, which is, you know, it's a, it's a price you got to pay, I guess. I don't think we have any shocks in our deck. If we had a shock, we could actually go Sea Giant, Pegasus, Corsair, Trumpet Blast, Shock. Mighty Leap would do it. Yeah, GoPots are great. Their prices are great. They buy for a, a good a good rate. Okay, all right. Go to seven. Dreadmaw. Stag. Axe. God, we're one land shy of going axe equip. Also, one land of going unblockable. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Six, seven. We can put them to six, and we have no way to put them to less than six. That's super frustrating. One, two, three, four, five, six, and eight. You block here. Oh, God. This match is surprisingly closer than it should be. We'll literally need seven mana for all the things we want to do. Four mana to make you not block. We can't do anything else. Six, seven, eight. I mean, they're going to block. It's not going to... There's no situation where they don't block here. And unfortunately, we can't deal with this on our turn, so...
Oh, they'll trade. They're not going to. They're not. They're definitely not taking an extra six against the red white deck. When we could have inspired charge or trauma blast in the hand, like there's just no way they do that. This also makes Lavax lethal. So there's just way too many cards that are lethal here. There's not a chance in the in the world that they don't trade. Yep. Cool. Buddy Lee, have a good night, buddy. Lee. <laughs> good times. See, in my experience, I definitely don't think the red-white deck is the best deck in the format. I think it's one of the most explosive decks in the format. Um, I don't think it's the best deck, though. There's a lot of cards that shut it down. I think this is a pretty good example of it. We have double trumpet blast. We have heroic reinforcements. We have double stag. Like we have a ton of two drops to make sure we get our guys out early. Um, I think the deck is great. I think it's one of the better decks in the format. I just don't think it's the end all be all of M19 draft. Like a lot of people say it is. Also this guy with Thorn Lieutenant is pretty insane because you can just keep targeting. Is Thorn Lieutenant an opponent? Actually, maybe not. Maybe less insane than I was initially thinking. I was thinking you can just keep targeting your, your Thorn Lieutenant with the Goblin Motivator to keep pumping it. Yeah, okay, thank goodness it is opponent controls. Trash Master save this hand? I don't actually see how that's the case, but... Well, definitely not blocking that guy when I have a Starcrown Stag on board. Well, that's... that's something right there. Intriguing. Titanic growth, one time, no Titanic growth. 
Intriguing. Shock one time. No shock one time. Yep, had a feeling. I've got a feeling, a feeling deep inside. So now you have one blocker and we get to Trumpet Blast and I'm pretty sure that will be lethal. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that should be game. Yep, it's like we, they, we didn't even need to show them. Uh, how to donate to Stiff one sends an email. How long is the process normally take from email to draft? Um, couple days <laughs> depending on it when i'm free but i also i don't love uh corset drafts i would much rather you prefer to wait till next week when the cube is available because i think i think stipulations are much more versatile um could have leaped and blast for the win last turn really i mean Uh, we didn't play Instigator first because we can play uh, Trash Master. It's a better use for mana. Like the next time we can play Instigator and Cube of Trumpet Blast if we wanted to. I like Invoke. This hand seems good. Ah, oh, the old vegetables are what food eats meme. That's a good one. As someone who eats very little meat, that's cute. Well, here we go with the lands. You guys ready? <gasps> what a time to be alive. Let's go red here. Get busy plinking. Should we attack with both? I don't know, maybe. Oh, that's a fine card. Oh man, we're doing we're doing well here. I'm very curious if we did have lethal last game. I don't think we did, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Maybe we did 15. It would have been like 15. Yep. That's a cool bore. I think we can just play giant here and then pass. I mean, that giant seems real good next turn, especially with the, uh, well, with everything we have in our hand, basically. What the hell are summer veggies? <laughs> These vegetables are only available a limited time. Ew, you're skinny. How you been, buddy? Long time no see. God, I haven't seen you since... It's been ages, man. It's got to be like a few years now. God, we were so young then. 
Those were the days. Never forget. And I think we're going to win the game. I'll tap this guy down. Reinforcements is a powerful wizard. One, two, three, four, five. They block here. Six, seven. They block here and probably a 2-2 two, two here, right? So they take 6-7, 6-7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. It's a lot. It's a lot of damage. Let me gain a life too. My god, what a time to be alive. What a time to gain a life. Everybody have fun tonight. Yeah, I do feel like this deck is almost perfect. It actually has, I think it has all the components of your quintessential uh, red-white aggressive deck. Um, which is why our second round was really something. Acquire one life. What a time to be alive. What a time to acquire a life. As they say. What are they doing here? What's the process here? Our opponent has disappeared. I'm back. Quit my job selling cars and go back to college. Axel, congrats, buddy. Man, long time no see, my friend. I think this is the correct choice in the long term. Everybody Wang Chung tonight. I really just want this to, uh... I really just want this to resolve. <laughs> I'm sorry, gain a life? I can't handle that. I'm gonna have to leave now. Where are you? I just want to resolve my heroic reinforcements. I think they're just super mad right now, guys. Thank you, just having a good day and now relaxing and wondering if the wondered if the best MT Wow, you gotta you get out of here. That's not even true. I'm an average MTGO streamer. I uh you know.
I hope you guys are doing well. So the thing about the, the thing about this is the the worst is that you know I can't fast forward. So uh, but I could do one of these jobbies though. Oh, I had a Halo Top once. I wasn't super sold on it, but I might have just had a bad flavor. Oh my god, there's Rogue Doug, Rogue Praetor, and Rogue Optic in the chat. Oh my god. Good lord. It's like a rogue convention up in here. I want this halo top right now. Oh man. Oh man. I think the cookie dough might have been the one I had, and I was like, I don't know. Or it might have been like a chocolate chip one. I don't know. Either way, I had it and I was like, eh, this is alright. So the funny thing is, I bought like four things of Halo Top because they were BOGOs right before Hurricane was it Irma? Uh, the one that really messed us up and then we got a hole in our roof and everything. Um, I bought four things of them and since we had, didn't have power for like 11 days, uh, they all went bad. They all just became liquid and I had to throw them out. So, All right, so got a solid chill-up 12 acting like a, acting like a little baby over here. That's unfortunate. A flash came up in the background. Flashinating. See, it's funny because that's like fascinating, but with flash. You know what I mean? I think you do. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, like, I'm always suspicious when you conveniently happen to disconnect literally right when I'm about to kill you. Um, but you had no other internet issues throughout the entire match. Rap game a little young, and thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. I need you to recognize my appreciation of your content while I sleep at night. It's been 90 degrees, and I have no AC. You're the only solace in my absolute sweat box of a life. Uh, do you think it would help if you went uh, to the kitchen where Mama was cooking onions? See, and now Chillup joined, so Chillup's back. So, welcome back. So, I guess we'll see if they really did have an internet issue i don't know cue the next draft i don't know if, well that's that's gonna be awkward because i can't record two things at once so all right here we go sorry my internet died all right well maybe maybe it did die i will give you the benefit of the doubt everybody have fun tonight everybody wang chung tonight oh and then i found out if you can't stand the heat you're supposed to get out of the kitchen that's true 
that is uh that is how that goes this puts you to like three which is nice I think you got a block here though right yeah that seems better either way long time YouTube watcher thanks for the content thank you so much for the sub and the, the YouTube support really appreciate it buddy I'm a fan of your support as it were This is where they disconnect again. They're just gonna slowly like torture us and be like, every two minutes I'm gonna disconnect. Deal. All right, go to three. Puts no cards into their hand. All right, hope you can't kill me from 22. You have seven power on board. Four, eight, 12, even, even triple Titanic growth can't do it. And I think that's the best damage to, uh, damage to cost ratio. Okay, oh, double motivator. This is a lot of bodies on the board. This guy's trample, though. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty insane. All right. That's probably going to do it. All right. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Hope you guys had a good time. Everybody knows what's happening right now. Man, this guy just, this guy just crushed it deal this is the best block you can probably ask for I think what a fiery finish this was let's see if the internet dies again as soon as I put Trump of Blast on the stack you guys ready god I didn't get to draw life draw life draw draw a thing gain a life you got nothing put him on the stack I <laughs> can't see it from the game all right thank you guys so much for watching really appreciate it slam those like and subscribe buttons if you enjoyed the content Slam it if you don't like it. I don't care. Just slam it. Check out my Patreon page or my Twitch profile. Both the links are listed below if you want to support the content I produce in any other way. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate it.